Everybody knows Egypt. Nobody knows Mohenjo-daro and the Indus Valley. This has to be changed. The Indus Valley civilization, of which Mohenjo-daro was a part, is believed to have originated around 3300 BCE in the northwestern region of the Indian subcontinent, in present-day Pakistan and western India. The civilization developed along the Indus River and its tributaries, and it is considered to be one of the world's earliest urban civilizations. The origins of the Indus Valley civilization are still not fully understood and are the subject of ongoing research and debate among scholars. Some theories suggest that the civilization developed independently, while others propose that it was influenced by earlier cultures in the region, such as the Megar civilization. Archaeological evidence suggests that the civilization had a complex society, with well-planned cities, advanced drainage systems, and a sophisticated system of weights and measures. The Indus script is the earliest form of writing that has been discovered in the region, but the script is yet to be deciphered. The Indus Valley civilization is believed to have flourished due to several factors, including its location along the Indus River and its tributaries, which provided access to water for agriculture and trade. The civilization also had a complex system of government, which allowed for the efficient management of resources and the organization of large-scale building projects. The people of the Indus Valley civilization were skilled in agriculture, metallurgy, and trade, which allowed them to produce a surplus of food and goods. They also had a well-developed system of writing and a sophisticated system of weights and measures, which facilitated trade and communication. Based on archaeological evidence, it is believed that the people of the civilization were a skilled and advanced society. They were skilled in agriculture, irrigation, and metallurgy, and they traded with other civilizations in the region. They had a complex system of government and a well-developed system of writing, which has yet to be deciphered. They built advanced urban centers with well-planned cities and sophisticated drainage systems. They also had a highly developed and sophisticated civilization, with evidence of religious practices and advanced knowledge of metallurgy, engineering, and pottery. The Indus Valley civilization had a diverse population, with evidence of different cultural groups and ethnicities. Indus cities were organized in a way which has much more, uh, I would say, equality among citizens. Uh, in Mesopotamia, the streets went from the city to this palace or the city gateway to the, to the uh, pal uh, temple, whereas in Harappan cities, all the streets were organized to allow access through the whole city. The people of the Indus Valley civilization were skilled farmers and practiced a variety of techniques to grow crops. Some of the ways they practiced agriculture include irrigation, they built a sophisticated system of canals, dams, and reservoirs to irrigate their fields and ensure a steady water supply for their crops. Flood-based agriculture, they also relied on the annual monsoon floods to water their fields, which is known as flood-based agriculture. They built their settlements on elevated platforms to protect them from floods. Terracing, they also practiced terracing, which involves building stepped platforms on hilly terrain to create flat areas for farming. The government structure of the Indus Valley civilization is not well understood, as the civilization's written records have not yet been deciphered. However, it is believed that the civilization had a complex and centralized system of government, with large, well-planned cities and a sophisticated system of drainage and irrigation. Some scholars have suggested that the Indus Valley civilization may have had a ruler or small group of rulers who controlled the society, while others believe that it may have been a more egalitarian society with decentralized decision-making. The religion of the Indus Valley civilization is not well understood, as their written records have not yet been deciphered. However, based on the analysis of artifacts and sculptures discovered at Indus Valley civilization sites, it appears that the civilization had a polytheistic religion that included a variety of gods and goddesses. Some of the gods and goddesses depicted in Indus Valley artifacts have been identified as having a connection to nature, such as a goddess who is associated with fertility and a god who is associated with the thunderbolt. 
Additionally, seals and amulets found at Indus Valley civilization sites have been interpreted as showing evidence of religious rituals and possible spiritual beliefs. The population of the Indus Valley civilization is estimated to have been between 1 million and 5 million people. This civilization was one of the most sophisticated and complex of the ancient world, with well-planned cities and a sophisticated system of drainage and irrigation. The Indus Valley cities were also quite large, with Mohenjo-daro and Harappa, two of the most well-known Indus Valley cities, each having a population of around 35,000 people. The Indus Valley civilization was also an urban civilization with a high degree of social complexity, with a diverse population that included different classes, occupational groups, and ethnic groups. Thanks for watching. If you find my videos entertaining and educational, please do give a thumbs up. Do click on this link if you want to find out more about ancient civilizations. Click here.